Welcome to your yoga flow class. Take a seat on your mat. Ah, I haven't quite mastered the bull yet. Indy graduates high school this Thursday. He went to a graduation party. He said a 50-50 chance if I make it back on Sunday. So it looks like um, he is not here, but I am, and so are you. So welcome to your yoga class. Let me turn down the volume on my phone. Very unprofessional. So uh, let's switch the cross of our feet. Place your hands on the mat. Put in the chat where you're practicing from. It's always fun to see where everyone's practicing from. I am in St. Clemente. Where are you? Hopefully you're on your mat and you're breathing. In and out. We're here for our moving meditation. Focusing on the breath. This is Fight Master Yoga. It's not about the pose. You don't have to be perfect. Smooth, long in inhales and exhales. If you ever feel any pain during this practice, immediately back off. There's no pain in yoga. And if you can breathe, and if you can focus on your breath, then you can do yoga. Let's bring our hands to the sky. Gently bring them down to the right side. Left hand on your right knee, right hand on, behind your back. A gentle little stretch. Focusing on our breath. Bring your hands back to the sky and slowly come forward. Come back up. Let's switch the cross of our feet again. Hands to the sky. Gently come over to your left side. Right hand on your left knee, left hand behind your back. A gentle little side stretch. Coming back to the breath. Bring your hands to the sky and slowly come forward, walking your hands forward. A nice little stretch. Slowly starting to waken up the body. This is your practice. Honor this time. It's so important that we show up for ourselves because if you don't show up for yourself, you won't be able to show up for anyone else. So take care of yourself. So you can spread this positive energy to all the people who come into your life. Let's come on to all fours. And we're going to come back into a child's pose. Spread the knees. Drop your belly. Stretch your arms. Come back to the breath. Slowly walk your hands over to the left side. Feeling that stretch in the right side of your body. Inhales and exhales. Your moving meditation. Walk your hands back to center and slowly over to the right side. Feeling that stretch in the left side of your body. Come back to center, back onto all fours. Lift your left hand into the sky and bring it in between, thread the needle, extend your right leg, bring your right hand behind your back on your left hip. Coming back to the breath, starting to awaken the body. Coming back to the present moment.
reawakening that light that's within you. Slowly make it back up to all fours. Bring your right hand to the sky and then bring it under you. Thread the needle. Extend your left leg. Bring your left hand to your behind your back to your right hip. Inhales and exhales. So glad that you joined me for this class. It's so fun to read your comments and see where everyone's practicing from. At the end of the class, if you could hit the like button and subscribe, that would be great. Let's come back up to all fours. Drop your belly, lift your chest on an inhale. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Cat. Exhale, round your back. Cow. Inhale. Exhale, round your back. Inhale. Drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, round your back. One more time. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, round your back. And let's come up to our knees and we're gonna tuck our toes. And this is, uh, Leslie would say, this is an acquired taste. It might kind of hurt your toes. I hear um, Stone in the background getting some, he just got up, he's getting something out of the fridge. You might hear that in the background. Stone, how are you doing? He says he's doing good. Let's bring our hands to the sky. Bend your left arm and grab your left elbow. Slightly come over to your right side. Feel the stretch. Your toes might be getting uncomfortable, but you're reawakening them, doing a little work on your toes. Bring your hands to the sky, bend your right arm, and grab your right elbow. Slight bend to the left. Bring your hands to the sky and scrape the back of the wall, opening the chest. Let's do it again, hands to the sky. Scrape the back of the wall, opening the chest. Hands to the sky. Scrape the back of the wall, opening the chest. And let's slowly make our way into down dog, bending the right knee and then the left knee, walking your dog. Sucking your belly, inner elbows forward, outer triceps back, weight in between your thumb and your pointer finger. Bend both your knees and slowly straighten your legs to whatever you can. Feel the stretch. Your heels might touch the mat. They might not. You don't have to. This is Fight Master Yoga. It's not about the pose. You don't have to be perfect as long as you feel the stretch and as long as you're breathing and you're doing yoga. Bend your knees, look forward, step in between your hands, inhale for a flat back, exhale, fold forward, and grab both your elbows and just hang forward. If your legs are straight, put your weight on the towards the toes of your feet or the ball of your feet. Nod yes. No, yes. Root down through your feet, reach up to the sky on an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Samastitihi. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back and slowly come all the way down to your tummy. And we're gonna lift up to a cobra. And if you'd like, lift all the way up to a high cobra and look to your left. We're here for a couple of breaths. All 10 toenails touching the mat. Slowly come back down. And we're gonna lift up one more time. High Cobra and look to your right. Slowly come back down and make your way into Down Dog. Coming back to the breath. Mm. On your next inhale, bring your right leg up and open up your hips. Feel that in the hips. We don't do it every time, but every now and then it's good. Straighten out your hips. Bring your right foot in between your hands. Drop your left knee and bring your hands to the sky for a low lunge. Slowly come forward and do a twist. Prayer, your hands. Left elbow is on your right knee. A low lunge, side twist. Now bring both of your hands to the left side of your right foot. Come up, drop your back heel into a warrior two. Someone commented the other week that they liked that little transition. Face your right palm towards the ceiling and come back into a reverse warrior. Now reach your right hand forward and come into a side angle. Back into a warrior two. Windmill the arms down. Chaturanga, inhale. Up dog, exhale, down dog. We're gonna do that on the other side. On your next inhale, lift up your left leg and open up your hip. We're here for a few breaths. Feeling that in our left hip. Straighten out your hips. Bring your left foot in between your hands, drop your right knee, bring your hands to the sky for a low lunge. Come forward, do a little twist, prayer your hands, your right elbow, your left knee, Coming back to the breath, back to the present moment. You're right here, right now. You're doing a good job. Keep going. Bring both hands to the mat, to the right side of your left foot. Come up on your right foot, drop your heel. Come into warrior two. Make sure your knee is not too far forward in front of your left ankle. Your weight is in your left heel and the flat part of your right foot. Bring your left palm facing up towards the ceiling and come back into reverse warrior. Come 
Coming back to the breath. On the next inhale, reach forward and come into a side angle, placing your left elbow on your left knee. Your right arm extended. Come back into warrior two. Windmill the arms down. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bend both your knees. Look forward. Step in between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Samastiti he. On the next inhale, bring your hands above you. Interlace your hands. And I want you to um, keep the um, first fingers extended. I don't know if you can see that. And then um, hands above. Reach to the sky and slowly come over to your right side. Coming back to the breath. On your next inhale, come up to center and exhale to your left side. Elmer's sleeping just right off the side of the camera. Maybe I'll grab him at the end of class so he can say hello. Let's come up to center. Bring your hands down. Now we are going to do eagle pose. So I want you to notice which hand is your right hand, which hand is your left hand. Inhale your hands up. Come forward, bring your right hand under your left hand. Ah, oh, for a Garudasana. Hands, bend your knees, bring your right knee over your left knee and just come back to the breath. Do the best that you can. You don't have to be perfect. It's not about the pose. As long as you're feeling a stretch and you're going for it. All right, let's come back up, hands to the sky. This time the left hand is gonna go under the right hand. We're gonna bend our knees, left knee over the right knee. You might fall out of it, that's all right. Don't take yourself too serious. Just come right back into it. Some days are better at balancing than others. We're gonna come back to center. Now we're gonna do tree pose. Put, the, put your weight in your left foot. Bring your right foot above or below the knee. Bring your hands to heart center. Find something steady in the room to focus on and bring your hands to the sky. Coming back to the breath. If you fall out of it, no big deal. Get right back in. Like I say, some days we're better at balance than others. Sometimes we're better at balancing on one side than the other side. Let's come back down to center. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Put your weight into your right foot. Lift up your left foot. Place it above or below your right knee. Hands to heart center. Find something steady in your room to focus on. And bring your hands to the sky. Come back to the breath. Finding this balance. Sometimes in life we have to find a balance. We used to have a magnet on our refrigerator that said, it's, hey, I'm, it's yoga, I'm flexible. 
and meaning like you could take it into anywhere in your life. How flexible are you in making decisions in your life? Okay. Let's do a wide legs. We're going to do a wide forward fold. Bring your hands out to the side and slowly come forward. Pretend like you have a beach ball that you're squeezing in between your legs. Bring your right hand into the center of the mat. Exhale your left hand to the sky. Focusing on the breath. Inhales and exhales. Come back, both hands to the center of the mat. Exhale your right hand to the sky. Both hands down, put your hands to your hips, come up, jump to the center. Let's come to the top of our mat. We're gonna do one more sun salutation with a um, crescent twist, and then we're gonna start doing some, uh, some pigeon type poses. Ground down through your feet, inhale, hands to the sun, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, your right leg up. Exhale, bring it in between your hands. Stay on the ball of your left foot. Come into crescent pose. Reach forward, twist to your right your left elbow over your right knee, prayer your hands, crescent twist. If you'd like to bring your left hand to the floor, your right hand to the sky, you're free to do that. If not, just keep your hands in prayer. Bring both hands to the mat. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale it in between your hands. Stay on the ball of your right foot. Come up to crescent pose. Reach forward. Twist to your left. Bring your right elbow over your left knee. Prayer your hands. And come back to the breath. If you'd like to bring your right hand to the ground, your left hand to the sky, you're free to do that. Bring both hands to the mat, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. We're gonna come back to that low lunge again. So inhale your right leg to the sky, bring it in between your hands, Drop your left knee. We're back to low lunge. But this time, bring your hands to the left side of your right knee to a lizard pose. If you'd like, you can bring your elbows to the mat. Whichever way your knee is facing, make sure that your feet are facing the same way as your knee. So if your knee's coming out to the right, just let your foot kind of come out to the right too. Slowly come up onto your hands, bring your foot over to the left side of your mat, and we're gonna come into a pigeon pose. Whatever's comfortable for you, you gotta practice in the body that you're in today. Not the body you were in yesterday, not the body you wish you were in, the body you're in today. So listen to your body. It's very important that we tune in and listen to ourselves. That's one benefit of yoga is it really helps you to become in touch with your body if you want to, if you focus on that. And it's really becoming apparent to me lately that 
one of the most powerful tools that we have is where we put our attention. So I want you to think about that during the day at any given moment. Where are you putting your attention? I know that if we put our attention on what we're grateful for, we become more grateful. If we put our attention on all the problems, the problems just get bigger. So it's important to cultivate an attitude of gratitude and be grateful. Let's slowly make our way up. Come to three-legged down dog. Bring your right leg into the sky. Bring it back to the mat, back into down dog. On the next inhale, lift your left leg to the sky. Bring it in between your hands. Drop your right knee. Let's come into a low lunge again. Hands to the sky. Here for a couple of breaths. Then bring your hands to the mat to the right of your left foot. And we're going to make our way into pigeon pose. Like I say, if, you're, if your knee is coming out to the left, you can make your left foot point out to the left as well. If you'd like to come down to your elbows, feel a little bit more of a stretch, you're free to do that. Coming back to the breath. Honoring ourselves for this practice. Loving ourselves for exactly where we are right now. Love yourself for the body that you have today and be grateful for it, that you have a yoga practice today. Slowly make your way up. Bring your left foot over to the right side of your mat. And we're slowly going to come into pigeon pose. Whatever is most comfortable for you, you can stay up. You can come down. Whatever is in your practice today. Focus on the breath. Slowly make our way up. We're going to come to our backs. Knees bent, feet flat on the mat. And we're going to make our way into bridge pose. So push down through your heels, lift your pelvis up, bring your hands under your back, interlace your fingers, come back to the breath. Pretend like you're holding a yoga block in between your legs. Slowly come down one vertebrae at a time. Let your feet, soles of your feet touch each other, your knees drop down, one hand on your chest, one hand on your stomach, and think of three things that you're grateful for today. During Shavasana, Leslie's gonna read a quote. She's gonna talk a little bit about her teacher's teacher, Patabi Joyce. So we have that coming in a second. All right, let's make our way back up to bridge. Push down through your feet, lift up your pelvis, interlace your fingers, opposite interlace. Straighten your elbows if you can. Coming back to the breath. Slowly come back down. Touch the soles of your feet again. Let your knees flop open. One hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. And this time, think of three things that you want to bring into your life. All right, bring your knees back up. Bring your right knee over your left knee. 
let your knees fall down to the left side. Your left hand can touch your right knee, goal post your right hand. Looking over to the right. Imagine your belly button is trying to reach up to the ceiling or twist over to the ceiling. That feels so good. Slowly come back to center. Bring your left knee over your right knee. Let your knees come over to your right. Look over to your left. Goal post your left hand. Come back to your breath. Just relax into that twist. I've heard that this is one of the most important yoga poses if you had only one to pick from. It's important to twist our spine. Keeps us young. Let's come back to center. Slowly lengthen your legs. Make yourself comfortable, let your feet flop open. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. And as you're here resting just a little bit longer, I never had the honor to meet Sri K. Patabi Joyce, but my teacher and my teacher's teacher, Diana Christensen, my teacher, Tim Miller, her teacher, speak of him a lot. So one of his quotes he would say is, you take practice long time, not two, not five, not 10 years, but a long time. And then all is coming. So when we focus on our breath, our drishti, our poses, the mind has a chance to quiet down when the mind is quiet, we can start to observe our true self. And when we can start to observe our true self, we can begin to become the best version of ourselves that we can be. Slowly start to lengthen your breath making small movements in your fingers and your toes. Begin to make circles out of your wrists and your ankles. Reach your hands over your head, stretching your fingers in one direction, your toes in the other. Bend your left knee and your right knee. Lift your pelvis up. Bring it over to the left. Slowly roll over to your right side, your right cheek resting on your right bicep, left hand on the ground, and take a moment to honor yourself for this practice. Like I said, it's so important that we show up for ourselves because if you take care of yourself first, then you will have the energy to take care of other people. Let's slowly push our way up to seated. Bring your hands to the heart, hands to the forehead for clear and loving thoughts, hands to the heart for clear and loving intentions, hands to the mouth for clear and loving communication, sending out this positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel actually a, a lot better than I did before the beginning of this class. Let's see. We have um, Kazima, she says she's in the Netherlands, and Katarina, once again from Croatia. What's up, Katarina? Persephone in San Francisco. She says San Francisco. Um, Ellie from Edinburgh, Scotland. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Sydney from Utah and Karis said, so glad to be back. She's in Bristol. Candy from Victorville. Serpa says she's not on her mat. She's got an injury. Oh, I hope you, I hope you, uh, are mindful and relax. She's in Norway. Um, Esperanza is from Madrid, Madrid, and Spupani is from Mesa, Arizona. And I'm not sure of this name, but she says Salam. One, I'm in Maka. 
Um, Miho is um, in Japan. She says, your voice is pleasant and very easy to understand. All right, thank you very much. Norsk is from the Ukraine. I hope you're doing okay. Gabriela uh, says, she talks in Spanish, but she does end it with namaste. I understand that. Namaste, Gabriela. Kazima says, this was so beautiful. I'm so glad I joined. Susan says, hi from Canada. Anna says, gives me the prayer hands. And Victoria says, she's from Vienna, Austria. And Janice says, hello from West Virginia. Evo says, hi from Germany. And Mike says, good practice. Greetings from Amsterdam. And Candy says, she feels so much better. Great class. Congrats to India on graduation. Nice to hear Stone. Thank you very much. Let me let me show you Elmer really quick. He wants to say hello. Elmer, you want to say hello? All right. Elmer said you should subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Don't you don't you say that, Elmer? All right. We'll see you guys later. Namaste. Namaste.